All right, YouTube, we were at the Orlando premiere like a month ago. If you don't know about the Orlando premiere, it's the biggest hair show in the world. This year was smaller than the typical year because of COVID, so many large companies pulled out and weren't there. But we still had a good time overall. We still did really well, met a whole lot of people. And it was really, really cool being able to do classes and, and all that. I mean, we had the classrooms like max capacity and some. So the support was amazing. It reminds me of why I love the shows so much. And we try to give as much value as we possibly can. But I remember during the show, a YouTuber that I've reacted to in the past and has great content on this channel, I uh, saw him there in person and he was doing a video uh, where he was getting advice from barbers in the industry. He was getting advice to other barbers and recording it, kind of interviewing, he had a, a quick questions to ask. And so I haven't seen the video. I was told that I needed to check it out. So. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna check it out. Shout out to Eddie, make sure you guys subscribe to Mr. Eddie Barber, YouTube Barber Academy. Link will be in the description below. And with that being said, this is the video. Let's check it out. Let's go. Make this go viral, go share this. Yo. Go share this, man. We're gonna talk to you when you win, all right? We're gonna come back over here. You hold the trophy up for us. All right, sounds good. I wake up flex. What do you guys think? He's interviewing everybody. In home today. Oh my gosh, so much. <laughs> so much. Did you have to make more than one trip? Oh yeah. yeah. If you had unlimited resources, how could you make the barber industry better? Go Oh no. What I sign myself up for? And what public defender are you hiring? <laughs> All right, if you could go back in time 10 years and give yourself some advice, what would you tell yourself? I open Instagram. I'm the founder of Instagram. <laughs> You'd have been the first guy. The first guy. I open Instagram. I do my app and Instagram will be mine. Yo, I'm loving the editing. You guys did a good job here. Your three hour drive. The favorite thing that I got was that little massage thing, man. Oh, how much are these? Well, what's coming out new from Wall soon? Come on, man. I can't tell you. But do you know what's coming oh, out? Yeah. Oh, he knows. Good answer. Eddie bringing it to the next level. What is something you still feel like you need to, to work on? What do you feel like you still need to work on? Always learning. What do you feel you still need to work on? Uh, I want to learn longer link uh, scissor work. Blending, uh, detailing. What do you still feel you need to work on? My shear work. Uh, scheduling better. Being a better version of myself every single day. Topping <laughs> off yesterday. What do you feel you still need to work on? Time management. Shear work. I would say shear work is styling. What do you feel you still need to work on? Uh, you're doing a lot, bro. You're doing, you're doing. That's my answer. That's your answer, bro. That's your answer. I wasn't expecting the question. More than any human should be, be doing. I'm always trying to do something better. I'm always trying to fix something. That's what entrepreneurs do. They fix problems. So, a lot of things. <laughs> what do you feel you still need to work on? Terrible answer, Basio. I fading. <laughs> fading? If you had unlimited... Re you're fading, bro? I am. <laughs> Are you never up, happy? Up until this day, I am never satisfied with my haircuts. <laughs> oh That's my why God. I take... I take 45 minutes to an hour on my haircut. I like Bro, it. I'm so satisfied when I get a haircut from you. That's dope. Pet peeve that a co worker Something might do. Something that irritates you that a co worker might do. Uh oh. Um, I got an appointment in 15 minutes and the appointment came in 20 and they don't take the walk ins. A pet peeve a co worker might do. Uh oh. Uh, cut hair and Crocs. <laughs> oh. Hey, that was a, just so y'all know, that was a shot at, uh, at Dre. Fonz, he works at Headlines, and we, yeah. So Fonz and Dre, they've gotten into like, not heated arguments, but like they've argued about Crocs not being a good look in the shop. And you know, Dre's argument is like, bro, nurses, doctors, people in the professional world, in, um, in, 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 in places where sanitation is key, rock Crocs. As, and I, my argument is as long as they're closed toed, we good. All right, pet peeve that a coworker. He gets the ones with the linings inside. So I don't know. What do y'all think? Is a Crocs okay if, if it's got the lining and it's closed? Or are they bad for the shop? Put your opinion in the comment section, and then hopefully Fonz and and Dre can argue it out one more time. Might do. do. Not take care of his hygiene or appearance. That's Playing official. loud ass music in the morning. <laughs> we need peace. Complain. <laughs> uh, cut hair and Crocs. Touch my. <laughs> Without uh, asking. Right? <laughs> Just ask. I will let you have anything but ask. What's a pet peeve that a coworker might do? Photoshop his haircuts. Damn. <laughs> right at Papito. <laughs> pet peeve that a coworker might do? Grabbing my stuff without asking me. I see you would give to an aspiring barber. Okay. 
Number one, misconception, you're not your own boss. Throw that shit out the door. You're not your own boss. Every person that walks in the chair is your boss. So understanding yeah. that your time is not controlled by you, but it's controlled by others. And that this, we're in a service industry and that you are there to provide. So if you want to elevate your career to the next level, it is not just being cool, it is not creating just an image, but yet providing a service that's gonna create an income for your pocket and not worried about the income because the money will come as you provide a gift for others. I like that advice. Work hard, stay focused, get off social media. Get off Instagram, use Instagram as a as a work outlet, as a marketing outlet. Great Always advice. Always ask questions. If you're not cutting haircut videos. Don't cut corners. Always be a student, always have your backpack on your on your back because the industry is changing daily and you have to grow with it. What's some advice you would give to an aspiring barber? Man, be the best you that you can be. Don't chase after no company. Do you build your own brand? These companies will come look for you. You know what y'all know what I meant by question everything. Like there's a lot of like OGs in this industry and they all have their own opinions and stuff, but they have a lot of things they haven't experienced as well. And this industry is growing so fast, evolving so much that what you know, what you learned couple years ago doesn't necessarily stand true it's not necessarily relevant or it's not necessarily moving you forward anymore today so you got to question everything the advice you're getting today question it uh you know come up with your own interpretation of how the industry is going the things that you need to be learning and what what you all of us are an individual we all need to be we all need self-awareness and we all need to do what's best for ourselves because that's why what i mean by question everything you ain't smarter than nobody nobody's smarter than you type of attitude so you're trusting but you're verifying all the advice that you're getting in this in this industry it's okay to question things only people with huge egos man are gonna get are gonna get offended if you question them or gonna get offended if you go against the grain or go against what they're trying to whatever their agenda is or whatever advice or wh wherever they're trying to keep people moving towards only people that are that think that their advice is the best advice and the only advice are going to get offended and why would you want to listen to people like that anyways right that's what i meant by that answer it was quick but it was precise when you see a bad haircut out in public when you see a person out in public with a bad haircut how do you handle that i just approach them and i say hey man if i could be a service to you come check out my shop i never downplay another barber's work though uh, tell them that they got a bad hair because I'm going to make them feel bad about themselves and I'm going to be hating on the next barber. I just tell them what I could do for them. Chico. Chico Boom. Amazing. Amazing. Amazing advice. So when you see a bad haircut out in public, how do you deal with that? I stare at it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm like, uh, damn, they got him. When you see a person in, out in public that's got a bad haircut, how do you deal with that? Um, I just laugh. Man, it takes three days for that to grow in, man. <laughs> <laughs> how do you deal with that? Man, it's rough. I don't really do much. I heard somebody say a long time ago, like if you're trying to get clients and you see a bad haircut, don't tell them, you know, don't go up to them because they don't care about their hair. So I usually just let it go. I, I definitely, yeah. You got to find people with good haircuts. Like, hey man, your beard is sharp. If you ever need a barber, come find me. You obviously got a good barber, so if you need one, come find me. That's good advice, Sean. Hey, my name is Matt. I'm from South Florida, like the Miami area. I had to take a bus here, a three hour drive. No way. By myself, I'm here by myself. But yeah, I'm, like I just, I just came from Chris Boss this man is a legend right here. I hey, originally learned a fade from him because I was watching this. Video. Appreciate the shout out. I guess one time the quarantine happened. Wow, and, like, bro, I got a lot of respect for you. This man just took a bus by himself three hours so that he could come to the show by himself. Give me your information. I'm gonna send you a clipper. All right? Yeah. Yeah. No. I got you. What clipper do you want? You can have anything you want. Yeah. Name one. Or, or just think about it. Yeah, I'll think about think it. Think about it. Eddie, you should have made him name one. I want to hear what he was going to name. My man's going to hit you with the damn the octanes. <laughs> All right, cool. Gamma's going to hook this man up with anything he wants, oh, man. Okay. 18 yeah. years old, three hours on the bus, comes to the show by himself. Mad props. Eddie just made his day, man. That's what it's about. All right, you guys. We killed the premiere show, man. It was crazy. This was the best show I've ever been to. Chris, man, huge inspiration, man. Thank you for everything, bro. Can't wait to see this series. This is dope. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys. Shout out to everybody who made this video possible. 
And uh, if you guys want to do anything nice for that kid that I seen at the show, he's just getting started. I'm going to drop his Instagram down below. And I have so much more content from this show. And we're going to keep releasing some of these questions. That's crazy. That's dope. Appreciate that. Eddie. I haven't watched this video. So that was cool, bro. That's something that an aspiring barber could definitely do. So when you get around people who know what they're doing or who have gotten some success, keep asking them questions, keep feeding your mind and keep growing. That was one that spoke to me, but so many others have and are coming that's definitely the other side of it man there's so many people that have paid for my classes and they're scared to ask questions man i've always been the, the type of student that sits in the front row and taking notes and asking questions and trying to get the most out of that class man but you know and people approach me all the time and and they're young they're just coming out of barber school and they ask me you know what advice would you give to me and the, the first thing I, I would say to you is really think about your questions and make the most of them there's not many times you're going to be able to go to people who are successful in this industry it's not like you can call them at any time you want it's not like you can just knock on their their door and ask them questions so when you do get in front of these guys and, and you have the opportunity to ask good questions ask the best questions you possibly can really think about them have them written down before you go to go to a show if you're taking a class and there's any Anything that's thought provoking think about it and then jot down the best possible question that you get, you can make it precise so that the educator understands it that way they can respond with the best possible answer and the more you do that the faster you're gonna learn man man go show Eddie some love man let's let's look at oh, that's dope first of all let me where's the young bull at now right, let me shoot the young bull a follow all right that was the kid from um, the 18 year old kid that rode the bus there and let's look at the comment sections man when homie said you're, you're not your own it resonated for me that's dope Keep doing what you're doing, man. You, you're building depth. You probably don't have the subscribers you deserve, Eddie, but you're definitely building depth, building deep. Those 100,000 subscribers, man, like those are real solid followers. You know, that's ultimately what matters, man. That's where that's where you you could you could have millions of followers and have no impact. What's the point of having those followers? You know what I mean? I think you're doing it the right way, bro. Just keep staying consistent. It looks like Frank the Barber's advice was really resonated with a lot of people, man. He's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, and I tell Frank the Barber this all the time, he's my favorite educator in the industry. So much passion. Every time I've seen him do a class, he's knocked it out the park. Amazing. They, they talking about me. Let me read this real quick. Chris Bassi is who I feel with the most. He learns and keeps trying to perfect his class. Always grinding on the hard work. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. That one guy said, don't ever play down. That one, Chico Boom gave a great advice. Stop being on the next barber. That's your neighbor. That's, that's not your enemy. That's not your competition. We got bigger fish to fry. There's so many guys that are always trying to knock the next man down so that they could get a leg up. Crab in the barrel mentality. And... I don't subscribe to that, man, and I keep myself away from people like that. There are definitely people in our industry that are, have that crab in the barrel mentality. Between Eddie and all the guys that were in this video, I feel like we're slowly but surely changing that that mindset. And it's it's starting with this new generation of artists. It started really, I feel like, with the shows and the YouTube community, man. Keep asking questions, keep the passion, don't compare yourself to others, and get off social media. Hey, that's a great way to summarize the video. I think the get off social media, I think more so it's not necessarily get off social media. It's get off social media for the fame. Get on there focusing on your mission statement, focusing on what you're supposed to be there for as a barber, as a professional. Um, social media is a great tool when you utilize it for the right reasons. Dude, who be cutting in Crocs? They snapping. What they? What did he say? I know, right? <laughs> Y'all gotta let me know what you think about the Crocs, man. Again, go subscribe to Eddie YouTube Barber Academy, man. There'll be a link in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed it. Eddie, keep doing what you're doing, man. We are gonna keep going to the shows. Make sure you're at the next ones, man. CT Barber Expo. You got Barber Con, CT Barber Expo, uh, Tennessee Barber Expo just passed. Salt Lake City Barber Expo. Clash of the Clippers is another one. There's so many of them. CT Barber Expo is crazy. The Orlando premiere is crazy. But yeah, man, get to these Barber Expos, you know, and, and network. Try to make it to the Expos, though. The battles are cool. They're just kind of small. There's not a lot of classes. Not so much networking. It feels like a lot of hanging out, especially the ones at the clubs. But the Expos, those are fire, man. With that being said, man, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.